Today, we are going to be rebuilding Bayer Leverkusen from FIFA 14 all the way to FC 24. The champions of the Bundesliga this season and the team that's finally ended Bayern Munich's dominance. And they've done so without losing a single game all season yet. The team right now this season is obviously amazing, but this is what the team looked like 10 years ago. Obviously, you can spot some names like Bern Leno, already still an 80 overall. Lars Bender, the captain. You've got Stefan Kiesling at striker. And who is this at left wing? Is that a 20-year-old, 76-rated Hyung Min Son before he went to Spurs? But people, we are going to sign and sell players in this Bayer Leverkusen team in FIFA 14. We'll simulate the season, see what trophies they win, and then continue on over to FIFA 15 with the exact same team all the way to FC24. Up until their recent Bundesliga win, Bayer Leverkusen had not won any silverware for the last 10 years, so we're going to try to stack it on. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and let's begin. We don't exactly have an awful lot of budget in a team like Leverkusen. 10 million pounds, a little over 100k worth of wage. So I have to be selected with what moves I do, but one thing I have noticed is that there are some damn good players out on loan currently. Karim Bellarabi for one, is going to turn into a not too bad of a player. You've also got even Christian Kramer has a decent season or two, eventually going to, what, uh, Munchen Gladbach. Buddy, Arcadius Milik is loaned away. He used to be at Leverkusen as well. I think a lot of us are going to be quite surprised by some of the talent this team has had over the years. Something else I'm going to do is stop the sale of two players that left Leverkusen in this transfer window. Those players were Danny Carvajal, who went to Real Madrid, and Andre Schürrle, 80 rated, he ended up joining Chelsea. So yeah, we can go ahead and add Carvajal, immediately a big improvement at the right back position. And Hyung Ming Son, you will be featuring in this team for quite a while, but for now, I might have to swap you out with Andre Schürrle. There's a little improvement there too. With the limited cash that we have, I am still going to make a transfer this season, and obviously it'll probably have to be for the left back position, that's what's most needed. And lads, I'm gonna try to go big here. We've already taken one Real Madrid fullback, why not take another and try to snag Marcelo? This would be huge. He is worth 10 million pounds and obviously 100,000 wage. We have that. We'd probably need to pay a little bit more. I might need to sell some players first. So I have transfer listed a couple of the players that we probably can let go of, including the left back we're eventually going to replace. So we'll go ahead and start accepting a couple of offers. Hopefully, eventually, it might be for a player worth more than 100k. Ah, there we go. An offer for the left back we're replacing. Hopefully, after this transfer, we should maybe have enough for Marcelo. And yes, that's got us up to, I think, now to a point we can afford Marcelo. Well, let's pull the trigger on him. Maybe 15 million will be enough. Nope, they want 17.5, but I think we can still do that. He doesn't want an increase to his wage, so I think we are good. Marcelo is leaving Real Madrid and coming to Leverkusen. What a pickup this is. Wow, with Marcelo and now Carvajal as part of our back four. Well, there you go. That's our fullback sorted out for the next six or seven years. Let's begin advancing forward with this first season then in FIFA 14. They came fourth in the Bundesliga this season, Leverkusen. So can we improve on that position? No shocker who wins the league, but we actually didn't do that great. We only came sixth, so we're only in the Europa League next season. No Deutsche Pokal. Somehow it was won by Frankfurt. And we could not make the round of 16 of the Champions League either. Bit of a slow start. I am surprised that this team only got sixth. But anyway, here are your substitutes. Here are your reserves. And now let's head on over to FIFA 15. <laughs> Match Masters is a player versus player mobile game and it is the only match three mobile game that you can play live against real people, including friends and family. Now, Master Bucks, Match Masters, obviously we matched up and partnered on something really cool. We are gonna be giving away a special prize to one of you. Now the prize itself is gonna be revealed in a later video. Comment down below and have a guess if you think you might know what it's gonna be. But basically, if you think you can beat me at the game, then download Match Masters by clicking the link in the description down below or by scanning this QR code up here. Because one of you that downloads the game will play me 
and will be showing the match in my next video. I should warn you though, I'm getting pretty damn good at this game. I came back from a 43 deficit with a round to go thanks to this insane booster. So if you want the chance to take me on and to be featured in a video, then be sure to check it out for yourself. Best of luck guys with the prize as well. And thank you once again, Match Masters, for sponsoring this video. This season, Bayer Leverkusen would let go of a couple of players that would turn quite good in the future, like, for example, Emre Chan. They let go of him to Liverpool, as well as Arcadius Milik to Ajax. I can probably hang on to them, and on top of players they brought in, I will recreate a couple. They bought Hakan Chalhanaloo from Hamburg for 15 million, as well as bringing in Tin Jedfer from Roma and Wendell from Brazilian side Gremio. So I've just gone ahead and added those in. The starting 11 is a little bit different now. Some upgrades here and there. We still, of course, have Marcelo at left back and Carvajal at right back. And also, by the way, Hey, who's this up from the Youth Academy? Julian Brandt. Yes, we've got him too now this season. The budget's bumped up a bit this season. We've got about 18 million to spend. And looking at that starting 11, I'd love to go for a maybe starting center back above an 80, and I need a backup goalkeeper. I've only got two right now after one player from last season isn't in the game anymore, and the other one retired. And so these are my options. For the goalkeeper, I've got Sergio Rico. Could go for him, or maybe there's another 70 rated 20 year old called Edison. Me personally, I'm kind of leading toward the Brazilian. I don't know why. And as for the center back, I've got Joel Matip and Kurt Zuma. Honestly, I have a bit more cash than I thought. These players are a little less than I thought they'd cost. I might try to go for both. Matip is probably going to be like 10 mil. I'll start with nine. And I might trade this Roberto Hilbert fella, who's nearly 30, try to trade him plus cash for Zuma. And it looks like we've been able to get Edison. We've been able to get Matip. Quick little adjustment of the transfer budget. And we've just been able to afford Kurt Zuma as well. Matip now goes in to the center back partnership with Top Rack. And honestly, I am really not minding how this team looks early days. It was another fourth place finish in real life for Leverkusen. Can we get into the top four for the first time in this rebuild? Now in the Bundesliga, of course, we, we know who again wins, duh, but we come third this season. So that is better and we're in the Champions League now. We are on for our first trophy though, because we are in the Deutsche Pokal final. But before we play that game, we have another cup final to play, the Europa League final. Of course, you remember we came sixth last season. So we have made it all the way through to the final. We have the Europa League to play and then we have the final of the Deutsche Pokal about three days later. Let's try not to do a Leverkusen again where they, were, they had the chance to win all these trophies and ended up with nothing. We have already assembled a pretty nice looking squad. We're now going to have to take on, you know, a PSG side with Ibrahimovic. And, you know, this is at least four or five years in with the money. So they're going to be good. At the Emirates Stadium, it's going to be Ibra and Levetsi to get it kicked off. Oh, what a touch. Big danger, this. Oh, huge problems early. Blaze Matweedy just takes the touch and we couldn't get in the way. Absolutely smashed that one in. My God, that was at real pace. Matip just not in the way at all. Stolen it here. There's a bit of a gap for Keesling. Settle and shoot. And smashed it in the near post. Keesling level. Hell yeah, what a strike. Lovely play ball through. I'm not quite sure who that is, but it is very well found and oh, very well struck. Get in there, one, one straight away. Great response. Yeah, we are very close indeed. I need the right amount of power. Is it enough? It's in off of the, no, it's not. And it's cleared off of the, oh my God. How did that not get over the line? And of course it was blocked right at the end. Ball delivered in. And from the header, it's all right, it's fine. Somehow we didn't score from that free kick and follow up effort, but we get it on the resulting corner. Lovely stuff, let's go. How did he get that through? Oh my God, Chow Hannah Lou, what a save from Sirigu. Why is everything rhyming? Why am I a lyrical genius? Unintentional rap god. Oh crap, really dangerous. And off of the side of the post, I felt the vibration in the controller. Goal here would finish it. Sirigu! Oh, it's somehow gone in! How's he not cleared it? The new signing, Joel Matip, has surely won us the Europa League. They might get a goal at the end here. No, they won't. It is over. It is done. We get our first trophy of the rebuild. Already made a handful of signings, and they've already gone and worked it out and got themselves a European title. Maybe not quite the European title, but it's still something. And we've got another cup final to play after this as well. Only three days from now, but that is the first 
first, hopefully of many today. Success at the Emirates. Now let's head to the Deutsche Pokal final. Most of the team is still a little bit tired because of the shortness of time between the finals, but hopefully it'll still be all right. We're taking on Schalke. Will we get a second trophy this season? Yet another cup final in the same damn week. Are we walking away with two? Apparently this Schalke team knocked out Bayern Munich. So, I mean, that is no small feat. Schalke side with Huntelaar, Draxler, Christian Fuchs before he went on to do big things with Leicester. Let's go seal that second trophy then. Off and underway we go. We'll get a free kick from this as well. And that one thankfully fires wide. It's a, oh, this is a free kick. I thought he won that cleanly. Good chance here. I honestly thought he won this ball. That is like, how is that a free? This referee is a fraud, man. And Hakan Chow Hanalu will, oh my God, will it spin back in? Maybe, no. Oh, uh, half time and no breakthrough as of yet. Although we've come close. First chance, maybe from the corner with a good delivery and a great ball in and it's saved again. Look at the space. Oh, we haven't really set it up though for him. Oh God, when can we just get this shot away? Oh, now we can. Oh, what a hit. What an amazing oh, pile driver of, what a pile driver that is. Is that from Castro? It's a brilliant hit. I, oh my God, he's gone around the sliding defender and just stuck it straight into the top corner with a sublime hit. Insane goal by Gonzalo Castro. Gonzalo. Pass, Castro, you'd almost want to have another hit, but no. Oh, maybe he will. Maybe he will have another go. He somehow got it through again. Gonzalo Castro is winning us this Deutsche Pokal on his own. The first shot was blocked. And in the end, the layoff to him. It's gone probably through a set of legs. Oh, God. Bit of a breakdown here. Don't like this. They have pulled one back. God knows what happened here. But Clash Jan Huntelaar was left wide open. And now we have a close finish for the last five minutes. Just keep it away. Keep it away. Hacking them to death. The header. Oh, it's not properly cleared. Get rid of the ball, please. Oh, this is too nervy. But this ought to do it. The man who's probably won us this final is going to help work it away. He might have the chance at the hat trick. He's got no stamina. He's going to get caught, but he'll have sealed the game for us. And that will be the end. That will be a win. 2-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. We go two for two in the finals. Joel Matip gets a win over his former team and we pick up all the silverware that we were in for. Get in, lads. That is not too bad of an effort at all, is it? Lars Bender lifts up his second trophy in four days and we win the Deutsche Pokal. We have already, in the last 10 years, won more trophies than the real-life Leverkusen side has. But this is, of course, just the start. Two trophies in our first two seasons, building a good team. We're off to a good start. Let's move over to FIFA 16. Bayer Leverkusen made some big sales in this window, including that of Hyong Ming Son for 30 million euros. Even though he still can't get into our starting 11 currently, you know I'm hanging on to him. I'm also gonna recreate the signings of Charles Orang Ruiz and Jonathan Tarr that they picked up. Now the starting 11 is almost an all 80 rated side, apart from the center attack and midfielder Chalhanalu, and I still wanna hang on to him, but maybe we can improve that position, get an all 80 rated starting 11. I had my eyes on Roberto for Mino, but it looks like he's just joined Liverpool, so it might not be possible. Or maybe I can get a little bit inventive and go for Antoine Griezmann, who is 83 rated. We have Keesling, our starting striker. Now he is on the way out, but Griezmann can probably play center attack in midfield until he drops off. We can sign another cam later on. He can be our future striker. We might just have enough cash maybe to pull this off if we trade someone. So let's maybe go with like, say, Stefan Reinhardt's plus 21 mil. If they don't take this, and I don't think they will, he might be just a little too expensive for us. And yeah, of course, transfer offer unacceptable. Well, in that case, I'm going to change my approach. Instead of going for a big 80 plus rated player, we're going to go for two mid 70 rated players. Players. Bruno Fernandes, 4.3 mil. I think we can afford that. And another one here, Ruben Neves. He's about 3.3. Now, obviously, these young players, good potential, might fetch me a pretty penny. Or maybe not. If Ruben Neves, 4.5. We can do that. Might even chuck Oz Tenali in the deal as well. And Bruno Fernandes, I might throw Robbie Cruz as part of the deal, 6.5 million. And it looks like we are going to get both of those deals done. Very easy, nice work. We've still got a ton of cash left. Welcome, Bruno Fernandes. Welcome, Ruben Neves. We're back in 
in the Champions League. We've got a good side. Is it good enough to take down Bayern yet? I'm, I'm not sure, but hey, who knows? Well, after taking some pretty good steps forward, we take a big step back, actually. Bayer Leverkusen coming in fifth. We're not even close to Bayern on 85 points. We got knocked out by Bayern in the Deutsche Pokal as well. And no good in the Champions League either. So after a good season last season, winning two trophies, we go trophy less. I kind of thought an all 80 rated team would be doing at least better than this. But that's okay. I have some plans to hopefully rectify this. Let's move over to FIFA 17. A few more players left Leverkusen this season. No one all too notable, but they also brought in some names. Alexander Dragovic from Dynamo Kiev for about 20 million euros. The same as Kevin Volan from Hoffenheim, also about 20 million. But honestly, probably not going to recreate any transfers that Leverkusen made in real life this season. Except for one, and that is Javier Chicharito Hernandez. 83 rated, he goes immediately into the starting 11. What else is crazy is that Arcadius Milik's now at a 79, whereas the starting striker throughout this entire rebuild right up until now is in the reserve suddenly, Stefan Kiesling. And who's that right next to him? Up from the Youth Academy, that, ladies and gentlemen, is Kai Havertz at just 17 years of age. Cool to get an 83 rated Chicharito in and the rest of the team looks really damn solid still. Now that he's become a third choice guy like striker, I genuinely think I might actually sell Stefan Kiesling now get him, you know, get a little bit of cash for him. And I will sign a reserve striker to replace him. No one crazy, but this Marcus Thurumfeller has kind of crossed my, you know, desk and he looks all right. So I might go to pick him up. We're going to get like, what, 7 million for Kiesling? And I'm going to be generous and pay a flat 1 million for Marcus. We do get an offer from Hamburg. He can go there and we can complete the signing of Marcus Thurum, who has accepted his contract. Welcome to Leverkusen, mate. I'm sure that you'll be a lot higher than a 60 in hopefully a few seasons. We are back in the Europa League this season, but with a team that good maybe a chance at maybe a second Europa League title of the rebuild not sure about the Bundesliga yet against Bayern Munich but maybe we're building to get up to it oh wow well we finished above Bayern Munich but we don't win the Bundesliga it goes to Dortmund we were six points short but this is a milestone moment we finished above Bayern at least no luck in the Deutsche Pokal sadly ah it's too sad man well at least we're making pretty damn good progress in the Bundesliga Hopefully a first German league title. Not too far away. Could have happened in FIFA 18. No. Only like a season or two after getting him, Chicharito ended up leaving Leverkusen to go to West Ham and Chao Hanalu joined AC Milan. I'm only going to recreate two of the signings into Leverkusen this season as well. One of them being Sven Bender. So Lars Bender gets his brother in the same team now. And the other one is a young winger by the name of Leon Bailey. Yep, we've got him now at Leverkusen as well. And I reckon he is yet another young player that's going to take off in overall. We finally see Hyungming Son at last starting now at left midfield over Andre Schürrle. And at center attack and midfield, we've got an 80 rated Brandt, which I mean, exciting to see him in there. But do we still need some improvement? I don't know if that's a team that can win the Champions League, which we are back in. And I'm not sure if it's good enough to take down Bayern yet either. But who knows? Well, Bayern Munich had an offseason last season, but they returned to form this season, winning it pretty comfortably. And bloody hell, what? look at the points differential between ourselves in second and like, Christ, eighth place is only three points in it. We don't qualify for the Deutsche Pokal final. And as for the Champions League, we don't make it there either. It's just, it's a good team. It's not quite a title winning team. It's not taking out Bayern Munich. But like, I know that it can be with the talent we have deep in our reserves. It's going to be very exciting toward the end of this rebuild, but right now, it's just about getting, taking that next step, really. Can we do it in FIFA 19? So like now, this season, we saw Bern Leno, an absolute, you know, staple of the Leverkusen side, leave to go to Arsenal. But as much as I don't want to get rid of him, goddamn Lucas Hiradeki joined Leverkusen this season. On a free, by the way, so he costs us nothing. And neither of them can get a game because Edison is now up to an 86. So, 
Honestly, Hirodeki or Leno, one of them I might sell later on if I need to, but we are just ridiculously loaded for keepers. And looking at the starting 11 now, oh my goodness, lads, this is a ridiculous team. Hyungming Son has finally hit the heights. We've got Habits now up to an 83. We got Fernandez up to an 84. Players like Leon Bailey, Ruben Neves, and others are really starting to kick on too. But with all that said, there is one position in this starting 11 I'm slightly concerned about at the moment, and that obviously obviously would be the center back position. Matip, Jonathan Tarr, a little low on overall compared to the rest of the team. So I'm going to try to attempt a big play here, a very big play. I want to go for Ajax's, not Juventus's, Matthias De Ligt. Let me see if I can throw one of my center backs in to help get the deal maybe a little cheaper for me. Well, that does seem to work, but it's still damn expensive. Maybe, hopefully, we can settle on 50 million, and it looks like we can. Big pickup. Matthias De Ligt certainly had himself a decent season in 2019, and now, hopefully, he can do the exact same for Bayern. Leverkusen. Is this a team that maybe could win the Bundesliga for the first time in this rebuild? I actually think it could. We might even have a miracle shot in the Champions League, but who knows? Lads, can we pull it off? Well, that's not not what I really had in mind when I thought, when I saw all those players get up and overall, Bayern winning it again by 15 plus points to us. Unbelievable. We've gone Trophyless probably again, unless we're in a Champions League final, because Dortmund took us out in the Deutsche Pokal final. And like, yeah, shocker, guess who's in the Champions League final? It's Bayern Munich as well. Like, they're just ridiculous, man. I think we're actually like, like we're almost five seasons now without a trophy, with a team that I think is more than capable of winning a trophy here and there, man. But anyway, here we go to FIFA 20. <laughs> Now this season, Leverkusen had to let go of Julian Brandt, selling him for only like 25 million to Dortmund. Not that much. I do not want to let go of Julian Brandt, so he will be staying, but I will bring in some of the signings that they brought in this season as well. A couple of young players like Tap Sober they signed from Portugal, Ezequiel Palacios from River Plate, and finally, Moussa Diaby from PSG. I'm excited about that pickup. Don't mind getting Ezequiel Palacios in either. However, it might be very difficult for them to get into this starting 11 at any point with how good it's now looking. Now, I am going to transfer list and sell some players here that we don't really need anymore, like uh, Gastro. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. That was... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Gonzalo Castro. That was unintentionally brutal. I My my apologies. But yeah, him, Andre Scherler, Kramer, and Core will let go of them. And with the cash we get from selling them, plus some cash I already have, I'm going to go in for Alejandro Grimaldo. Yeah, a little preemptive signing. Of course, this man ends up joining Leverkusen anyway, forming half of their pretty iconic fullback partnership they've got right now. But he's already a pretty damn good rating at that 83, and I reckon, why not get him in now? With Marcelo going on 32 years of age and his overall dropping as well, I reckon the signing of Grimaldo is not bad with him being 23. We know he's going to be highly rated, and I think it's time for him to take over that position. But will it happen now? Right here in FIFA 20. Unbelievable. I'm at my wits end. We win 30 out of 34 games in the Bundesliga, get 91 points, and it's only good for third. Third place, man. I literally don't even know what else to do. It is outrageous how, oh my God. God, hard it is It is to win the Bundesliga if you're not buying. I am so stunned. Of course, they win the Deutsche Pokal as well. Thank God, at least, they don't bloody win the Champions League. No treble for them, but somehow we came in third place, which meant we went to the Europa League, and we have made it to the final, and we're taking on Dortmund. Finally, a chance after like five to six seasons of no silverware, we might finally get another European title. And what a great chance to see this team in action as well. Will we get ourselves our second European trophy again? It will be our second Europa League. Not quite the big one yet. Leverkusen in real life, the heavy favorites to take home the Europa League in real life this season. And we're just getting a little preview of what it could look like. We're going to have to take down fellow German side Dortmund in order to win this one. But with the team we've got, with the players we've signed, with the players we've held on to, I reckon we've got a good chance of pulling this one off. Underway at the London Stadium. New man Grimaldo. Young Ming Son, ball in, not away. Averts, we're cutting into the middle. I've got a man up the middle. This could be Milik. I don't know about the shot. Oh, that's some brilliant footwork, but saved. A chance or two that we haven't quite been able to finish off yet. 
Oh, he nearly got through there. Sonny's still going. I don't know how this attack is still continuing on. What is happening? Oh, crap. And now we've allowed this counter-attack. Gertz is all the way in. Oh, have we allowed that? Shambles on one end. No defense whatsoever. What happened to it? He just hurdles over the sliding tackle. And Gertz has got a simple one-on-one -on -one that he smacks into that top corner. Are you kidding me? Can we just finish off our dinner for Christ's sake? Millick, are you fucking out of your minds, man? You can't even pass it five feet. Into the middle. Ball, Brands, up the guts, Millick, get the run on, not a bad ball, cut back again, too far, we're doing too fucking much with it, too fucking much with it! Julian Brandt, that's not too bad of a ball, the fake shot, pass it, Millick, bang, in just at the near post! We are really not playing the prettiest of football right about now, that was originally meant to be a cutback for the number 18, I forget who it is exactly, Bloody, uh, oh yeah, Fernandez. Milik, thankfully, is able to get a shot off. It has not been the cleanest game of footy. It has not really at all. Not a lot of time. Brandt, we've got to find a way to make this attack count and to make it perfect right up the middle. Oh my, oh my God, it's Berkey that saves it at the end. Well, that's it then. It's got to be extra time to sort this one out then. Fernandez, he's got that ball through. Hold it up. How do you make a tackle from there? Still nothing in the first half of extra time. Don't tell me this is going to penalties. Sharp turn from Neves. Out wide, it's Son. Who's in the box? Marcus Thurum, we've subbed him on. That's not too bad of a ball. Piss Jack didn't clip him. I don't know, man. I don't know. Not a lot of time left. I've got Son in the middle. Son's in there. He's not going to win the header against a guard, too, and that is going to do. We're having to go to penalties to sort out this final because, you know, of course we are. Royce gets the first. Yes, I'm using the reticle. Yes, because I forget how you even take penalties. Come on. Fernandez scores. And, oh, I'm going the wrong way every time. The substitute. Got to get the timing right. We do. Is that Erling Haaland? Erling Haaland scores. How about Kai Havertz? Come on. Yes, you bet. Everyone's three of three. Except for now. Except for now. Tell you what, this keeper has stood up the middle almost every time. This is ballsy. He doesn't move, man. Edison, please. Yes, Edison. Oh, my God. Okay, lesson learned. Don't go down the middle. Neves, just stick it in the top corner. And let's win this Europa League title. Yes, we've got it done. We had to do it the long way. We had to go all the way to Pens. But we triumph in the shootout. And we will take home a second Europa League title. Bloody hell. That was not the cleanest of games. I thought we would do a little better than that. The performance was lacking, but the silverware is claimed nonetheless and lifted up by Captain Kai Havertz still hanging on here. He won a Champions League with Chelsea. Now he's won a European trophy with his boyhood club. That's what we like to see. Come on. After five years without a trophy, we finally get one, but the problem still remains. We are so good, yet can't win the Bundesliga. Next season, I'm going to shift focus. We've got a great team now. We should be good for the next few years. I just need now to start screwing over Bayern and Dortmund. So that's what I'm going to do next season, starting in FIFA 21. Now, this, of course, was the season where Kai Havertz left Leverkusen to join Chelsea. A whopping 80 million. We're not letting that happen. We're keeping Kai Havertz in this starting 11. But you cut off one head, another one grows. Up from the Youth Academy this season was Florian Vert. Right away, immediately after they lost Havertz, they got the regen. And you know who they signed this season? Only a right back by the name of Jeremy Frimpong from Celtic. Only 71 rated right now, but yeah, that's going to kick on a bit as well. The team is fantastic. Yes, could do with some improvements in some areas, but again, like I said before, the focus is now screwing over Bayern, screwing over Dortmund. With emphasis on Bayern especially, we could really go for some players like Kim Min Jae, who isn't even at Napoli yet, but he wouldn't be too bad a pickup. Or we could try to go for some of the big guns like Erling Haaland, except I think he may be just a little bit out of our price range. We don't exactly have 200 million to spend. We've only got about oh, a little over 50. I do have multiple players transfer listed to hopefully bring up the cash. You know, players like Bern Leno, Danny DaCosta, Lars Bender, Henrik as well. As honestly, even Marcelo, some highly rated players that 
probably won't be playing as much anymore. After selling some of those blokes, we've got our budget up to 85 million now. And with that money, this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna sign a 74 rated Kim Min Jae really early. I'm gonna pick up a promising youngster by the name of Jamal Musiala. Well, wouldn't that be a good pickup? We've already got a thousand center attacking midfielders. Why not get another one? And if I have enough cash left over, I might go for Nicholas Sewell as well. Bayern wants Sven Bender plus four mil for Jamal Musiala. We're gonna make that happen. That is gonna hurt them way later down the road. It looks like we will also just about have enough for Nicholas Sewell too. Try to like bump it down maybe to something like 65, but I think we'll get that one easily done. Yep, we're gonna hit Bayern Munich a little hard this season and hopefully do that as long as we need to until we finally beat them to a Bundesliga. We add Nicolas Sewell into the starting centre-back partnership along with Kim Min Jae now in the reserves plus a Jamal Musiala waiting to kick on. We also swapped our formation a bit to cater for the hilarious amount of centre attacking mids we now have in this team. God damn does this team know how to pump out some cams. It's ridiculous. So we do a little damage to Bayern but I'm not sure how much it's going to affect them this season. Will it be enough to disgruntle them and maybe throw them off and maybe we get a Bundesliga yeah, wow, no, that did not do jack diddly squat to Bayern from the look of things. They nearly went invincible in the Bundesliga. Wow, with an 89-point season, we come in third. We have lost another Deutsche Pokal final. How many is that now? We're really starting to throw away some silverware. I can't make sense of some of the last few seasons, just the amount of trophies we could have won. The fact that we're in a Champions League final. Oh my goodness. But we can't get the Bundesliga to save our lives. We're going to be taking on Real Madrid. We might go for a third European title in this rebuild without winning the bloody German League. And it's only the Champions League. No more scruffy Europa League. What a team we've got for this final as well. Being led up top by Son with so many previous Leverkusen players that are absolutely doing bits. Can we do this? Leverkusen have been here before and it did not quite pan out the way they would have liked. And it was also against Real Madrid. Will history repeat itself or are we about to rewrite history? Bloody hell, we nearly had a Bayern versus Leverkusen final. That would have been insane. But instead, we get the rematch of, I think, what was it? The 01, the 02 bloody Champions League final, and what a team we've prepared for it. Time to settle a near 20-year-old score as we are off and underway. Aranguiz, Brandt, look at the layoff here. Gonna get in front, gotta get the goal, Julian Brandt! He has smashed it in past the keeper, and we have taken an early lead with a super easy one-two. Oh, the defender's been cooked. What a finish. Get in there, you know who would have been there? Carvajal, we kept him though. I get the feeling Danny Carvajal might have dealt with that situation a bit better, but no, he's not there for them now. Fernandez, up over the top. He's got front position, it's saved by Courtois. Havertz has been sent away here. I, look, we've got some numbers, why not? Oh, Travella cross, doesn't happen. Somehow got through. That's crossed to the back stick, but no one's there. Could have been a great chance if only there was someone at that back stick for Real Madrid, which there wasn't. We're still in front. Still just ahead by the one, thanks to Julian Brand so far. Well, that was definitely a bit of a handball, I think, but we'll take it. We're just trying to keep him out. Oh, fucking bastard. He's gone right on through me. Slide tackle on Havertz in the box or on Hazard in the box. That was dangerous. Gotta lay the tackle. What a block to lit. The defense has been elite. And Hazard, a ball in, and we don't find a way to stop it! Oh my god! Modric has leveled it! I thought we were going to hold out all the way to the end. We had been defending so well. But Hazard finds a ball, it's not blocked, and where is the man marking Modric? There are still 15-something minutes to go as well. Could there be a winner on either side? Give it to Son. Give it to Son. Look, not marking him. Son! Young Ming Son! Oh, we hang on to him, the superstar Korean, and he may have put us in front again. No one following him into the box. He curls it around Varane. He finds the top corner again, as he does too many times for this Leverkusen side. We have only 10 minutes to hang on now. Could still easily go the other way, though. Asensio, ball in. No one's there to clear. It's Benzema headed wide. One more goal, just to really finish it off. That'd be beautiful. Back to him. Arangui stays on side. He has finished it off. Bruno Fernandes wins the Champions League final. He puts the stamp on it. He seals it. He's delivered it. Our demons of the past 
have been conquered. We will take down Real Madrid in a Champions League final, and it's done courtesy of Bruno Fernandes. He sticks the dagger in the heart. That is the Champions League one. What a victory, what a result. 3-1, we were hanging on toward the end. We finally conceded, and we snagged two quick ones to win that Champions League title. All the youngsters that used to be on this Labicusen side have stayed, they've matured, and we've got one here in Kai Havertz who lifts up the European Championship. We won two Europa Leagues before this, but now we get our first Champions League. Can't believe we won a Champions League before we won a Bundesliga, but apparently it is just that damn hard when you've got to take out Bayern over 34 games. Who knows if the real Bayer Leverkusen side are going to pull this off in real life, but for now, let's soak it in our first Champions League of this rebuild. Get in. But will it be the last Champions League of the rebuild, or do we have another one in us in the next three seasons or so? Let's move over to FIFA 22. I just wanted some more. Another twist. Think I didn't tell you. Another player that Leverkusen ended up letting go of this season was Leon Bailey. He ended up joining Aston Villa for about 32 million. I'm only going to copy one signing that they made this season, and that is Pierre Hincapié. Uh, you know, 74 overall. Oh, think he might get a little bit higher rated than that as well. Everybody else, you know, we can more or less forget about, I think. We've still got such great quality that continues to get better. Some have peaked and maybe might almost be on the way down, you know. And with the buying power still of Leverkusen, I don't know how much more damage we can do to Bayern Munich. There's only one thing I can think of. We do need a third goalkeeper. We've got Edison. We've got Hirodeki. We sold Leno last season, obviously. Why not take Bayern Munich's superstar goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer, 35, yeah, but I don't care. I reckon taking this man away from Bayern Munich is going to hurt them bad. Could this be the secret to finally unlocking Bayern's destruction? It's going to be very, very interesting trying to have him, Edison, and Lucas Hirodeki on the same team. But we're going to try to find a way to pull it off. This is a masterstroke, I'm hoping. Will the addition of Manuel Neuer to Bayer Leverkusen be the downfall of Bayern Munich? Gosh, we can only hope and pray because there's only three seasons left to go. Will this Bundesliga title ever happen? Oh my god. God, lads, I'm at my wits end now. I can't, I can't fathom this. We have weakened Bayern so that way they don't win the league, but we're not the ones topping them. In fact, they still finish ahead of us. How do we get 60 points? We lose 10 games, man. 10 games with the team we have. We are allergic to the Deutsche Pokal. Lads, it, we, we can win this trophy. It's fine. It, it's not going to electrocute you if you touch it. And no Champions League title or Europa League title either. It, we're back to being trophyless again. Bloody hell, man. All right. We have two seasons left to win the Bundesliga. If real life Leverkusen win more Bundesliga titles than we do, I'm going to just lose it. Ah, oh, FIFA 23. Quite a fair few players left on a free this season with Leverkusen. No one like absolutely crazy. And they didn't really bring in anyone of, of insane note either. Maybe like Callum Hudson-Odoi on a loan. That's about it. And I won't bother with that. So the team is exactly pretty much as it was last season with some slight changes in overall. But may, basically the starting eleven is the same. I'm thinking maybe what we might try to do with this pretty well last season we have to do anything is maybe go and surprise you a little bit, a striker. Have been playing Hyung Ming's son as the striker, but honestly, even though we can play at striker, I'm, I'm wondering if that's causing some issues in the formation and with Sims and whatnot. And with our $82 million budget, I, I think maybe there's only a certain level of striker I can go for. And these are my options. They're pretty much all in their 30s. We've got Antoine Griezmann, who we nearly signed earlier. He'll pretty much cost us about 70 mil. Zero Immobile, 86, the highest rate of the bunch. Apparently, looks like they're not going to sell anyway. And the other option I had, Gerard Moreno, same thing. I mean, maybe we could get him, but it looks like Griezmann's the easier get. Simeone apparently wants Grimaldo. I don't want that to happen. So let's bump it up to, say, 67.5. And it looks like he is more happy with that. And we successfully make the signing of Antoine Griezmann. We nearly did it earlier, but now, finally, fast forward a few seasons, he's joining Leverkusen. This signing means a bit of a rejigging of the starting 11. I've now got Hyung Ming Son out wide again. We've got Diaby now 
at right midfield on the right wing, Fernandez, Neves, and Chow Hanalu. Very highly rated, mid 80 rated players all over the park, plus a cheeky 88 rated Young Ming Son and other good players like Neuer and Edison who can't even start either. Now let's not take the piss here, FIFA 23. We've got a sweet team that is yet to win the Bundesliga. Surely we're not going to FC 24 without a German title. Maybe we will. Maybe. It's not done yet. We're top, yes, but there's a game to go and there are three teams that could win it. Or realistically, I think there's only two. We're top of the table. We're tied on points with Dortmund. And yes, Leipzig do have three points on us, but... Uh, yeah, Leverkusen and Dortmund, it's not possible for them both to lose this weekend. Because look who we play on the final day of the season, man. We have got on our hands what is, what is almost essentially a Bundesliga final. If we can get a win or even a draw, we will be Bundesliga champions. And we're going to be at home for the final as well. I mean, bloody hell, what a finale we have on our hands. We have waited and we have waited waited long for this first Bundesliga title and maybe maybe now we can do it we just need to hold out against Dortmund please do not throw it away on the final day like this Leverkusen I know we've done similar things in the past not now Griezmann threw away his son tight angle saved it's gonna get out to the corner son delivery good position header up in the air Head it back down volley oh spilled Tight angle. Oh, it's crept in. No way. Oh, Bruno Fernandes. The impossible angle. That is insane. The save, the parry. How do you squeeze it in from there? Cobble cannot get back up for the rebound, for the repeat effort. That is precision at its finest. Bruno Fernandes, that is one way to win a league title, isn't it? But possibly win a league title. We're still only in the first 10 minutes. Overlapping run. Come on, something's got to be on here. Cut back. Love that ball. What a ball. What a ball. Hakan Chalhanalu, who's been here from the start. He writes his own little page in this story. The assist was probably a bit more impressive, but unreal. He's been again up over the top. This is looking so good. Not right after we scored. Not right after we scored. Son Tor! Yeah, this is going to happen. This is absolutely going to happen at last. Relentless. Stepping on the foot of Dortmund. They don't like final days on the Bundesliga, that's for sure. Just start engraving our name on that trophy, lads. It is done. No way we're throwing this away. Oh, I missed that challenge. Missed that one. Oh, God. Come on, Keeps. What are you doing? We have nearly been picked up. Oh, no, we have been picked apart. We... No, he's off. Ha, <laughs> Bellingham is offside. I thought we got pieced up in the end there, but thankfully, he yes, is definitely in an offside position. Good call, ref. Oh, my God. I just let one go. I just had a pop, and it has flown into the top corner. Leverkusen won the league with a 5-0 win in real life, and we might be on for the exact same thing. How about the back heel assist? Fernandez, 0.0 .0 expected goals, but who cares? Who cares about math? Oh, that's a stupid thing. It's beautiful. Come on, lads, to make it five, just like they did in real life. Seal it with a 5-0 win. It's at the back stick. It's not in yet. No. DRB, DRB. Cutting his way through. Oh my God, Koble. He doesn't want to let it happen. Well, I'm not letting him have a choice. Oh my God. Oh, hello. Keeper out of position. No, blocked again. Oh, but this might work perfectly. Neves, Neves, we do make it five. Just as they did it in real life, they win the league with a 5-0 win at home. Come on. And Ruben Neves gets in on the action too. Well, goodness me, did we have to wait a long time. I thought a Bundesliga title would be way easier to grab than this. But finally, at last, it happened. We have to wait all the way to FIFA 23. But it is over. It is won at last. And we still have one more season to hopefully win it again. Captain Hyung Ming Son, my God, finally there it is. We are going to lift up the Bundesliga at long, long last. Bayer Leverkusen are champions 
of Germany. Now we find out if we can go back to back. Will we be able to recap the real life achievement of the real life Bayer Leverkusen side just like they did this season? As for the rest of the trophies this season, I don't know why, but the Deutsche Pokal does not want to happen for us ever again, it feels. And the Champions League was won by Real Madrid, but in the semi-finals, we lost on penalties after a 5 Five draw on aggregate. Unbelievable. God, where the hell is it the away goals rule when you need it? Anyway, finally at last, we secure our first Bundesliga. One final season left. Let's finally push on to the end of the rebuild with FC24. Now this team, ladies and gentlemen, is the real life Leverkusen team as it was at the start of the season. It's, it's not a bad looking side. We know it's currently an undefeated side in real life. And this is the Bayer Leverkusen side that we have rebuilt in this one. Just an absolutely freakish starting 11. God, this is the best it has ever looked in the series or in the rebuild so far. The bench is nuts. I mean, Shaka and like all these other superstars can't even get a run. Who else is in the reserves? Freaking bloody Haberts now can't even start or get on the bench. An amazing team, a, a phenomenal side, but what is it going to finish with? Lads, if you've come this far and you haven't already, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe as well. Do we finish with another Bundesliga title? No, no, we don't somehow. All right, sure. God knows how Dortmund won and we didn't go undefeated either. We've lost six times. I already don't even need to tell you that of course we didn't win the Deutsche Pokal. Like I said, allergic to that competition. And the Champions League apparently was won by Napoli. Not Real Madrid, not Barcelona, not Bayern, nah, Napoli. Well, it ain't much. It's five titles for Leverkusen, but we do pick up a Champions League, so I'll bloody take that. Let me know what team you want me to rebuild next, and if you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to click on this one and check it out as well.